Well, good day, mechanics. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. Well, this has been out for a little bit. Well, since 2014, obviously. I uh, just haven't really made a video on it. Uh, it's kind of a good game, kind of a annoying, kind of gets quick annoying kind of sort of game, if you know what I mean. Um, but we're going to get into it here fix a couple of cars. Okay, welcome Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. This is a little tutorial they do here. First glance, most basic can, uh, most basic garage in the game, but uh, most basic garage in the game, but uh, if your career progresses, you will unlock more professional garages with diagnostic paths and chip tuning. That's pretty cool. Let's start off with the basics. Uh, walk to the radio on the opposite side of the corner of the garage and turn it on. Use WASD and your mouse. Okay, so. Radio. Radio, radio, oh, radio. When you're close enough to perform an action in the game, the icon with a description, description will appear. Basically that thing. Uh, item, no name, action, name, then you can press the action key to use it. Let's try to operate the car lift. Go to the car lifter panel and switch to the upper position. The car lifter will enable you to examine from the car from below. And seem to turn my radio on, but anyways, let's go to the car lifter. Over here, so there's, you know, the lifter thing right in the floor here, right? the car lifter. This concludes your first basic tutorial. You know how to move around the garage and how to interact with the equipment. It's time to start your job. Well, okay then. So, our first job is, I think, a fairly simple one. I've only done a few of these, so some of it's going to be a lot of figured out for me. Okay, your first customer has arrived. The job description and goals are listed in the repair order. You can always return here from the quick menu under under right mouse button after completing all tasks on the car. Um, you can finish the job by stamping the form here. Repaired. Okay, so the first one is <coughs> replace front front brake pads and check the front brake discs. And it also gives you a little bit of a description here. You can change the brake pads on the front axle and check the condition of the brake disc, please. I'll be back tomorrow to collect my car. Now we've only got five hundred dollars. A lot for this job, so you got to really watch that. You can replace replace brake pads. Go to the PC and buy four new brake pads from the car shop. This is kind of cool. It's all online stuff, right? So over to the PC. And uh, <clears throat> we've got a bank loan. Uh, right now we've only got 700 in our account. Uh, learning books is kind of neat because you can... Uh, when you unbolt stuff, this will unbolt it faster. Better business management. Become a better mechanic. Uh, master of commerce. Get a bit of a better discount on parts. Um, used car parts. You can buy some used. I don't know why. Uh, some stuff you can repair. Like this actual differential. You might be able to repair that. Battery. For some reason you can repair batteries. Some things you can't repair. Some things you can like this. You might be able to repair it for cheaper than you could buy it for. I know fuel pump, fuel filter, I don't think you can repair those. Uh, these gearboxes you can repair. This is all used stuff here, so a lot of stuff we won't need for quite a bit. Okay, let's go into the car part, so it's all alphabetical. So we need brake pads. 50 bucks a piece. Ooh. 50, 100, 50, 200. Okay, should have enough. Go to the first wheel and start disassembling. Remove the wheel by unscrewing the bolts, then remove the brake caliber to get access to the brake pads. They also wanted us to check the uh, discs too. Okay, so we don't need to put the car up for this. We can just do it right down here. Disassembly. You can perform three main actions in the mechanic mode. Disassembly, reassembly, and examine parts condition. Okay, so now we need to take off the wheel. Let's stay in disassembly mode. We have to take the old brake off the old brake pads. Start by the wheel and brake caliper and remove the old pads. Okay, so... Yeah, once you get um, 
the better mechanic one that'll rip off real quick. Okay, so we can examine conditions and we'll examine this guy. 61%, not too good, but he'll probably do. That's good. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, disassemble. Okay, so two bolts holding the caliber on. these off. Okay. Great. You just have assembled the old brake pads on one side. It's time to assemble the new ones. Switch to the assembly mode and mount the new pads. Now, of course, this isn't um, quite 100% accurate as how you'd actually do it on a car. You know, like there's a lot of steps they're not doing, but I mean, for the bare basics for a game, it's pretty good. One more thing, remember that the customer asks you to check the brake discs. Uh, switch to the examine mode and select the brake disc to examine it. Uh, if you know the condition of the parts, you can repair wear on, on them. Not every part can be examined by hand. Some need to be examined another way, like OBD scanner, test drive, or diagnostic path. Or you can take certain things off, too. Okay, so hopefully they don't want us to replace those brake discs. I don't think we're going to have enough. Okay, that side is done. Let's try this side now. Examine. About the same as the other side. Okay, reassemble mode. And put the tire back on. And when we go back into our invoice, it should have a couple of check marks on it here now. Okay, so back to the invoice. Congratulations, you repaired your first car. There are many more to come, yeah, no doubt. Uh, if you want to, can to finish the current job, open order sheet and quick menu and stamp the sheet. Which I was just about to do. So yes, uh, we checked things, did that, to replace those, so we go ching ching And to the next order. Okay. <coughs> Invoice number two tells you up here. So we need to replace air filter, oil filter, fuel filter. Uh, and he says, I just, I, I last, my, I last had my filters change over a year ago. Release them all again, please. So three hundred dollars. Okay. So, uh, what else? Three or air filter, oil filter, and fuel filter. Okay. So we're gonna go buy the parts first. Car shop, there's an air filter. I can grab this little thing here. Fuel filter. And oil filter down the bottom here. Oil filter. Okay, so we shall do the air and oil first in the engine, and the oil filter is just under this little cap here. We can do a check condition if we wanted to on this. 20%, that's not too good. Oop. You gotta be pretty precise with your mouse too, that's the only downfall. Okay, let's, oh come on, replace that guy. 100%, normally you would change your oil too, but he didn't say he wanted to change, so we will however check it. It's down a little bit. I guess it could be nice and change oil for him too. Um, now these 
kind of silly. You have to take a lot of parts apart here to get into the air filter. It's a mass airflow sensor here. Air filter cover. And the air filter out. Reassemble mode. Air filter in. Air filter cover. Good. Air meter. Get on there. Get on there. In the air tube. Okay, now those are good. Uh, we gotta put it up on to get the fuel filter anyway. So what I'm gonna do is change his oil for him too here. Um, yeah, I gotta go there first. And we just conveniently dump all the oil over the ground. Without a pan. Oh dear. And got to go back here and change this filter here. That's 18%. That's not good. So now you think you might be done, except we haven't put oil back in the car yet. And it'll actually tell you if it's incomplete. So let's let's say we're done. Let's say we're done here. Do, 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 do. So we did everything there. Repaired. No oil in the engine. cannot perform this action. <laughs> so we won't let you go until you get everything all figured out. And we just dump the oil in until it comes bubbling out the top. You'll see in a second, all of a sudden, it'll float all over the top. Just like that. And we're full. Now we should be good to go. Next order. Okay, invoice number three. Form a test drive. Replace all worn out parts. And he says, while I was driving on bumpy roads, I hear knocking from the front wheels. Check the car and replace out worn parts, please. So we only have $300, so it can't be super major. Go to the test track. Yes, we will. Now, I found with this test track, everything seems to test exactly the same. Nothing ever seems to be any different, even though some parts are wore out or the brakes are horrible or, or whatever. That was the acceleration test. This is the brake test. We're gonna hit the brakes when we hit the red here. Well, that's good. Now it's known as the slalom test. This is the one that should be testing what's bad. I'm not very good at this one. Suspension test. So, I mean, it, to me it tested fine, but we will go in and see if we can find any wore out parts. Okay. Let's see here. Whoa. Some, now this the red doesn't mean really anything. That means to get this part off here, I got to get this one off first, which makes sense. Okay, I did see a bad ball joint there. So we can go right-click, examine conditions, 
And because we've done that test, it sort of gives us everything that needs replaced. So it looks like we got a end link screwed and a tie rod end. So we shall go. I love taking tires off this way. So handy. Tie rod and link left. I think everything else. Looks like we got a link right bad over there too. Okay, and I think that joint, that one looks good. So we need a left ball joint, and a link left and a link right. Okay, so ball joint, I think they're actually both the same. What the heck was that called now? bar and link left and right okay now we can go reassemble oh it's down 10 percent that's pretty bad Okay, that side's good. That side's good. And I think we're done. Very good. Order number four. Okay, perform an OBD scan. Can you scan the onboard computer? I need to know if there's any electronic parts or reporting errors. Easy one. So we go in the car, sit in the car, go down to the port. This thing reads exactly the same every time, which is cheesy too, but. Put a number of signs, finalizing. Done. And I think that's it for that one, or was there something else? That apparently is it. We got $300 for that. Sweet! Okay, number five. That was easy one, though. Number four was easy. Repair starter. I heard that I have my starter repaired here. I barely work, so I don't have money for a whole new one. Can you repair it for $100? Ooh. Well, let's get her off and have a look. Way buried down back and behind here. Okay, so starter. The battery's not looking too good either, but anyways, it's all in, it's in for a starter, and that's it. So, we'll start her off here. Okay, so that's in our little personal inventory here. Starter, 8%. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so now to repair stuff, gotta go over to the device here. Well, we only got started right now, but you can repair it. 
for $91. Okay, let's just say no to that for a second. Let's go look at the used stuff here. Now we're still going to have to repair a used one, so... I don't know if they have a starter in here right now. Used oil filter. Okay. Don't see any... St oh, there's a starter. Oh, for the V6. So oh, there's one there. $53. Uh, it doesn't tell you what condition it is. Of course, until you get it home. So I think we're just going to go repair this one. Okay, so that part's repaired, apparently. So we will go to assembly mode. And repaired. Show repair work. Good. Okay, so perform a drive test. Replace all damaged parts. Okay, so we got to go back to the, the drive thing. Shifting gear is much harder than I should than it should be. There's probably something wrong with the clutch. Ooh, Ooh how much did we get for this one? Eleven hundred dollars. Oh, thousand dollars. Ooh wee. Okay, so we got to go to the test track first. Drive to the test track. Yes. And it'll probably just perform exactly like the rest of them have performed. Acceleration's a little slower, I don't know. Interesting, oh, well, not interesting, but better if, you know, this guy's got something wrong with his clutch, per se. They make some funny noises coming out of the clutch area or something. You know. It just sounds like a high-speed race car right now. This game is pretty cool, but they could have improved a lot of things, I think. But anyways, it's, it's not too bad. Okay, so we drove the test drive, test track. Now, we got to dig into this thing here. Um, how do I gotta do this now? I gotta actually go from the side, I think it was. I gotta take it out this way, and then I gotta put it up on the stand, I think. Only because I gotta pull these drive shafts out. Because they go into the transmission there. Now the bigger trucks and stuff. They're like uh, rear drive shafts, four wheel drives. There's a lot more disassembly. We will have to probably get into one of them. Okay, pop this drive shaft. Good. Okay, now we got to do a little bit under the hood here. Got to pull the starter out. Get the starter mounts into that housing. Now we can pull the transmission housing off. Or gearbox, they call it. Now we're into the meat of things here. Okay, let's do a... Condition. Oh, see that? The red means not good. So, clutch release bearing is junk. Looks like the pressure plate's okay, though. But, this is 18% friction plate. That's not good. Okay. I don't think any... Whoa, where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> Gearbox. Oh, we could fix that, I guess, but it's not too bad. Okay, so we need a bearing. And a 
friction disc. Clutch friction plate, $500. Clutch release bearing, $100. So that cost us $600, and we had 1000 So we might make about $400 here. Friction disc. Pressure plate. This game too, by the way, is from Steam. If you have Steam. Bearing. Gearbox. Ooh, while I was in there, I should have put that starter back on. Drive shaft. Wheels. Do the other shaft and wheel. Those are coarser torque to spec. Of course they are. And I think we are repaired. Okay, number seven. Just just knocking them off. Place car battery check alternator. I replaced the battery four days ago, but today was saying it will start my car again. Check what's wrong with it, please. Thousand dollars. So he said he put a new battery in, so it's probably ooh. That kind of battery did you put <laughs> in there, bud? Check condition. One percent. Well, there's your problem. They wanted me to check the alternator too, so we've got a a little bit of disassembly here. That belt looks good. Water pump looks good. That belt looks good. Now, we can't um, fortunately check the condition until we remove it. Okay, let's sit on here. Oh, 7% alternator, 1% battery. Okay. Apparently you can just fix a battery. $172 to fix it. Yeah, sure. Alternator, 231. Ooh. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Oh, battery, 100%. Alternator, 100%. Belt on. And I think that should be it. Repaired. Next, number 10, or number 7, number 8, sorry, holy cow. Okay, so I need a drink. Um, repair exhaust. I 
car has become really loud. My muffler is probably damaged. Okay, so that we're going to have to jack it up. Oh, yes, you can see the rusty damage. It looks okay up here. Let's do some diagnostic. Well, that's not too good. That pipe's all right. That pipe's junk, or muffler's junk. That one I'd have to get from the front, but I think it's just these two. So sometimes it's tricky to get back here. Okay, so we've got to tear off this guy. Muffler rear. And muffler middle. So we need a muffler rear and a muffler middle. Off to the computer. Very exhausting work. If you know what I mean. Now we're going to go to number nine. Nine. What did I do for nine? Perform a drive test. Test drive and repair the steering. Oh. Steering feels loose. Could you check it? Okay, let's go for a test drive. So we'll see how well I can take this corner down here then. Maybe a bit loose there. Probably got a bad joint or something. Drive axle or something. First strut. missions or so roughly I can't remember exactly but okay what did we find not looking good oh so that's bad steering rack and we got a Damn it. I want to let me examine that. I don't know, but I gotta take half this apart here now. Yeah. 
like a NASCAR. Okay, now I think I gotta put the car up to get that piece. I think I had to anyways, maybe I have to go through the... There we go. Looks like everything else is okay there, so let's go buy a steering rack. Don't think I can repair a steering rack. Nope. New part. I go past it. Must have. What do they call it? Power steering rack. Power steering rack. 1500. How much did we get for this? Three thousand. One side. Two side. And I think we're done. Repaired, number 10. Woohoo, here we go. Okay, replace fuel pump. I was driving on fumes and I think I've overheated my fuel pump. Can you replace it? 600 bucks. Well, let's get her up and have a look. Fuel pump's buried in the gas tank here. Looking kind of scuzzy. Zero percent. Well, that's no good. I don't think I can fix a fuel pump either. I think they're junk. Yeah. I actually need to go through... Uh, get rid of some of this junk. You can actually sell it. <laughs> Ten dollars for no fuel filter. Eight bucks. Oh, wow. $69 for a crappy old uh, disc plate there. 40 bucks back. <laughs> I actually got pretty good money back. 10 bucks. $199. Holy. Fuel pump, zero. That's <laughs> no good. Old brakes, five. Three for that one. Five for that one. Four for that one. What about an old oil filter? $7. Cool. While we're in here, I'm going to look in the learning books. I'm going to buy a couple of these. Oh, crap. 
need a fuel pump. Oh, went past it. EF fuel filter, fuel pump. 320. Interesting. Now, what if I went to sell it here? 240. <laughs> oh, rip off. Okay, hey buddy, you're fixed. Don't run on fumes anymore. Wish it was that easy to fix it. Ten done, here goes eleven. We'll just, like I say, play till we get to the next garage there. Replace gearbox. Oh, I let my wife. I lent my wife the car for a few days. And the gearbox was given up. Can you replace it, please? Yes, I could. Replace it or fix it. So our bolts are coming a little faster. Okay, what's a gearbox worth? Gearbox. Two grand. <laughs> Two grand or... Oops. Seven hundred thirty. I didn't fix it. I will fix it. <laughs> Hey, if you can save yourself a little bit of money, why not, eh? I didn't see anything about the clutch, so I'm presuming it's okay. And I think we are fixed. Number 12. This might be the new garage, I can't remember. I played this a little bit, but I haven't gone past the second garage too much. Change the oil and filter? Change oil. Oh, that's an easy one. And we'll put them up first. How much did we get for them? We'll change here. $200 for an oil change. Filter.
And she just dumps all over the ground. Okay, the cleaning cost. Well, if you had a pan. Now, most of these engines are the same, but they do get different later on. And they're like the big V6s and stuff. Come on. Pop that filter. Cap. And fill them up, and away we go. So now, actually, if I stop there, it will actually show you on the stick. How much we put in hardly anything, eh? So you got oh crap. So you got to uh, keep going till it like billows out of the top here. Like that. Check your oil level here. She's good. I fixed number thirteen. Replace timing, replace water pump. The time has come to replace the timing. My friends advised me to replace the water pump as well. Fourteen hundred dollars. Timing, I think they're meaning the the belts. So that out of pulley's junk. That out of pulley's junk. Water pumps junk. bells here. So pretty much everything's junk. Now this... I can't remember if we can fix this or not. Okay, so we can fix the water pump. We're going to need two belts. Belt tensioner. Or pulley and two belts. I think that was it. Serpentine belt, timing belt, timing belt. Okay, the water pump is fixed, so everything should be good. more parts to assemble. Fixed! Proceed to the next order. Okay. Find and eliminate the problem. 
My car, the car makes horrible sounds when I drive on slow, slowly on bumpy roads. $200, so there can't be too much wrong with it. I guess we'll take it for a little test drive. Well, the takeoff is horrible. That was definitely noticeable. Mama! Take out is horrible in this thing. What the heck? I noticed that's different. Brakes aren't too bad. Okay, let's head her back in the shop and see what we can find. It says it's horrible. Was it horrible on... Hmm, can't remember now. Okay, it makes horrible sound when I drive slowly on bumpy roads. Okay. Some suspension-wise. a bad thing over there. Steering link. Or, uh, sway link. Two hundred bucks we're only getting for this, so that's probably all that's wrong. Yeah, won't be much else wrong. Kind of a, gives you a bit of a hint what's gonna be wrong. Okay, 15, replace the, replace the air and oil filters, change oil and check timing. I bought this crappy car and I need to get the basic, make basic maintenance, repair, replace air filter, oil filter and change oil and check the timing please. Okay. So, air filter, move that pipe. Sensor. Battery's really not looking too good. 43%, not too good. That's 10%, so that's not much good. That's not much good, and check the timing. Well, let's just go buy this first bit of stuff before we get too far ahead. Do the filters first, air filter.
Oh yeah, filter ship could buy like ten of those maybe. <laughs> Let's put her up and dump the oil out. Lovely pink car. Dump her out all over the ground. Oh, did that actually get all out? Crap, I don't think it did. Nice new air filter. Cover's not great shape, but it's 40% still. This looks like a pretty crappy old car, this thing. Sensor, the tube. Brand new filter, cat back on. We'll load them up and we'll check the timing. Well, that belt's junk. That belt's probably junk. Probably fix that, then I won't know until it comes off. didn't get very much for this job so I can't get put too much into it. 500, that'll barely buy a couple of belts. Oh crap, which one was it? That was not in good shape. Timing belt. I think. I'll put two belts on maybe. Serpentine. Timing belt. Let's put all the money you got, buddy. Sorry, 45%. Fixed, except I think I lost money on that one. I know. OK, 
Okay, fine and eliminate the problem. My car has a hu has huge mileage and it started to sound terrible while turning. Oh. Fourteen hundred dollars, that's a pretty big repair then. Trouble while turning. Hmm. aren't great. <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's get underneath and see what we can find. Thinking ball joints. Got our tie rod. Ooh, the dirt shafts don't look too good. Junk. Junk. <laughs> so we need a couple drive shafts. Yes, it looks like. Junk on here first. Better not sell buddy stuff. That'd be bad. Okay, so a couple of drive shafts. I have axle left. Four hundred. This one's cheaper. Weird. And it fixed. Okay, 17 is a bit higher than I thought it was. Maybe it was 20 until the next garage. Check the exhaust. I hit something hard on a bumpy road. I assume that I broke one of the exhaust pipes. Examine it, please. Okay, so she's got to go up in the air for that. That one doesn't look too good. Ok, 
Okay, so we just need exhaust pipe middle. Here are these things. Thirty bucks for that one. Forty-six for that one. Exhaust pipe front, exhaust pipe middle, hundred bucks. Okay, let's go put this guy back together. And I fixed. Okay, number 18. I think it does go to 20. I can't remember though. Okay, fine, eliminate the cause. The faster I drive, the louder and horrible the noise gets. I notice that the dashboard lights are getting dimmer. That's odd. Okay, let's go for test drive. Sounds like a battery's gone bad. can see under here. Interesting he says the lights get dimmer, it's weird. Battery looks good. Yeah. This stuff's looking good, but I'm curious about this. It's not looking too good. And under here, hmm. Show what he was meaning by the horrible noise. The tire's not super great on the back corner there. Jack it up here for a sec. That's why we getting paid for this. It's by fifty, so it can't be anything too major. Things. 
I think it's just that alternator. Well, I tried to drive that out of Harlem House Kid. That must be all it is. I guess that's it. Okay. Number 19. That was easy. They do get quite a bit harder in the second garage here. Find the solution. I can barely afford my a car, but I managed to buy myself one. Doesn't start though. Help me please. Only have 300 left. I need working to before I can show it off to my parents. Ooh, $300 to get it running. Ooh. Battery's not great. Check some plugs here. Okay, so it looks like it needs four plugs and a set of wires. Plugs and wires. Thirty bucks a piece for a plug. Oh. Change oil for the kid.
Thick black gooey oil. Okay, so number 20, replace rubber bushings. My rubber bushings are all... are gone. Replace them, all of them, please. Ooh, okay. Now we're gonna have to go in here and buy some rubber bushings once them all replaced. So. buried away up in here. Rubber bashings repaired, replaced. Oh, that last car, the other one where we didn't take for test drive again. Man. Okay, now we should get into the new garage here, I think. If not, then we'll keep playing until we do. But if we do, then that'll be it for today. Oh, no, still the old one. Okay, uh, repair leaking water pump, I guess it is. Check timing belt. This car drives me crazy. I've already replaced all the spark plugs. Now that Guess what? Water pumps are to leak, and all the liquid could have damaged one of my belts. Check it and repair it, please. Yep, she's junk. Belt's good. Belt's good. Pulley's good. Tensioner's good. Okay, so we just need a... a water pump repair. The battery's in a different spot on this one. Repaired. That's easy. Eight hundred bucks. Those kind of ones you make pretty good money on. Oh, the new garage. 
Well, we're going to save this until the next video. But anyways, we've got a nice diagnostic test thing in here. And test track. And a different computer system now. Although it's still the same thing. Oh. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching Car Simulator 2014 playing with me today. It was fun. Uh, next video we do, we'll get into this nice new garage. And some pretty fancier looking vehicles. This is going to have the big V6 in her. Yeah, big V6. Three on that side. Different transmission. Three on that side. Ignition modules. Oh boy. But anyways, we'll catch you later and thanks for watching.